Hey guys, so this episode made me feel something that I never thought that I would feel. Sorry for Aegon Targaryen. I mean, the guy is such a jerk, but at the same time, we see that he's just lost a child. And we see his mother and grandfather. Instead of taking a role in helping him through his trauma and grief and surrounding him with affection as any good parents and grandparents would be doing, they're just using him in his grief to further their own agendas because this guy is basically just a puppet, just a figurehead to them. And yeah, I feel sorry for him. And the fact that they actually parade their dead grandchild's body on that carriage in front of all the small folk, like honestly, it feels so distasteful like and exploitative that they're willing to do that to their own flesh and blood. And when that courage hits the bump and you think the body is just going to go flying, oh my gosh, that scene was really well done with the tension. And this episode in general, I feel like with the score, the set design, the camera work, it was all just really above and beyond. So Damon and Rhaenyra, no surprise, are in need of marriage counselling basically in this episode. Well, in this whole show, if I'm being honest. It feels like Damon and Aegon are both competing for worst husband of the year. But, you know, Damon is older and it feels like he should know better. Aegon, like, yeah, he's still old enough to be held accountable for his actions, but still there's just something about Damon that feels a lot colder and crueler. Don't get me wrong, I love his character, but he's definitely not one of the good guys. I wouldn't even say he's an anti-hero. He's definitely just out for himself. Then we have Sir Kristen Cole, and he's feeling guilty about his secret relationship with Alison. So instead of taking accountability for his actions, he basically deflects blame onto everybody else. Um, you know, there's those people that really rub you the wrong way. For me, that's Sir Kristen Cole. I really dislike him. I'm Team Green, basically because of Eamon DeVoe. And he wasn't really in this episode a lot, which is a pity. I think they're going to feature him more as the story progresses, but he was really only in this for one scene. And it was a very interesting scene. So basically, we see Eamon, despite that comment that he made in season one with Sir Kristen Cole, where they're basically trying to find Aegon and they're like, where do we look? Brothels? We don't know anything about brothels. We're men of... I don't know exactly how they phrase it, but they're basically like, we're not into that stuff. Then in season two, we see, yeah, he's into that stuff. But in a way, it's sort of sad because we see him with an older woman and it seems like he has an Oedipus complex, I think it's called, where they have that unhealthy attachment to a mother figure, sort of like with the boys and Homelander and the milk. If you know, you know. I'll just leave it there. But anyway, so we see Eamon and he's there and he's just wanting to be held, basically wanting to feel close to a mother figure because big surprise, Alison isn't exactly the world's best mother. So yeah, you feel sorry for him as well. And he says to her that he feels guilty for killing his cousin, which is very revealing I was wondering if he actually felt guilty about it. So he does and he's still dwelling on the fact that his cousins made fun of him and were cruel to him as a kid and bullied him. So yeah, that was a very interesting insight into Aemond. But I do feel like we're seeing him at a before stage of his life and that he is going to progress to become more like Damon. And you can tell that he's someone that Eamon really looks up to because he's like, Damon tried to have me killed. I'm so proud. He sees me as a threat. So in a way, it's like he's awestruck. He's a little, you know, like excited and proud at the fact that 
his idol tried to kill him. So, yeah. They're the Targaryens. What do you expect? They're complicated. We had the twins fighting and obviously they died. I didn't expect that storyline to really go anywhere because obviously Rhaenyra isn't going to die this early on in the season. So where do you think it's going to go from here? Let me know down below. What did you think? Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.